Hello, on this video we're going to fit the continuous ink system from City Ink Express to the HP Photo Smart Printer. So this, this system uses the HP 363 compatible cartridges uh, and this one's the 3310 all-in-one scanner. So it does fit around 35 other models. The fit method, the fundamental fit method is identical on all of the models. So we're going to raise the main part of the lid to get access to the ink chambers and then unclip, unclip them all. And then we're going to start to insert the cartridges, like so. Pushing in firmly. So I'm going to push them all in and then I'm going to tell you about the routine. So, so the cables initially come up through, up through the centre like that, in between the two. So that one will go round there, and then that one round there. So we'll put that one back in, and then the third one between the between the middle, like so. Click it in. The fourth one again in between the middle. Clip it in. Fifth one in between the middle. Clip it in, and the last remaining one is this large black one. Clip that one in. So on back on the on the back here, you will see the clips. These are routing clips that we're going to use to tidy the ink cables up. But before we actually close this lid here, this bit's quite important. On the edge, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera. Uh, but on the on the edge of this plastic clip here, you will see a small recess. It's a tiny little U shape in it. This should be where your tube comes out. If you don't have it coming out, I'll see if I can get a shot. There we are. If you can see that on the camera. So if you don't have it, the, the ink line coming out a bit there, it is possible to crush the tube. So I'm now going to install this one. It is all detailed in the manual. Uh, and then we're going to close it like so. Again, with this one here, just making sure you can see from the side that actually it's in the right area. Three. Four. Five. So once we've clipped the black one in place, you do have to unclip it and just double check that the cartridge, just the black one, has actually been pierced. So we pull it out and have a look and just check there to make sure that it has actually been pierced. If it hasn't, put it back in again and repeat the process. So clip it back in and then close it like that. So we're going to remove the backing tape from the top of the clamps. You can either use the tweezers in the back or your thumbs, fingers, doesn't really matter. And then push that down there like that. And that one there like that. So for this model here, it does vary on some of the models, but it's always around this position here. Sometimes it's here on the front, sometimes it's on top but we need to bypass the printer lid sensor. So for this particular machine, the 3310, it is actually here. When you press this, the printer will think, press this down, it will think the lid is shut. So on some models it is here, and some models it's on, it's on here. So the indication you need to be looking at the lid, normally there's a little recess thing, and as it comes down, it presses that down. So that will be one of the last things that I do. So for the continuous ink system itself, we need to install the air filters before we can proceed. So within your accessory back, take out six air filters. Anything else that's left in the bag are spares. So the air filters themselves, they have a 
a narrow pointed end and then a short fat end. So they need to be inserted short fat end down. So on top of the continuous ink system you've got the large plugs, these are your refill holes so when you need to top up the system you take the plug out and pour it in or use a syringe. These small flat plugs is the air balance chamber. This is where the air filters go. So I'm going to remove all of the plugs. I'm going to insert the air filters. So remember, fat end down, straight into the top like so. So the continuous ink system must be installed level with the base of the printer and it shouldn't be moved. If you raise it in the air, gravity will take place and it will flood your printer. So they must be installed level with the base of the printer. So before we actually close the lid, that is how the ink line will look when it comes out and when the lid is shut on it. It won't trap it. So with the HP systems it is quite normal to see bubbles coming up and down from the system as it's pumping and priming the ink backwards and forwards. So the last thing we need to do now is just basically double check everything's clipped in and then bypass the lid sensor. So what I'm going to do with this small plug here, I'm going to put it into, put it into that hole and you will see, you will see that the uh, printer now thinks that it's closed. So we can then close the printer down. And you can see the ink line coming out of the side here. And that's it. The system is now installed and ready to use. So that's how you fit the uh, continuous ink system from City Ink Express that use the HP 363 compatible cartridges.